How hard would it be to build a half-scale version of the Cybertruck? Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. Yeah! Trucks have been the same for a very long time. Like a hundred years, trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. You can put 3,500 pounds in the back. There we go. Can you see it? Yes. You gotta press that button. Order now. And it's ordered. Do it today. Thanks, order. That's a hundred dollars I'll never see again. How hard would it be to build a half-scale version of the Cybertruck? You guys might remember an overpowered electric go-kart that we made a while ago in partnership with my neighbor Stan and his company Accelerated Systems Inc. Well, we decided to give them a call and it turns out their CEO, Bill Yeager, he's a big fan of Tesla, which means he was down to help us out again and provide the electric motors and drive controls to build a half-scale Cybertruck. These are the three biggest speed controllers you guys make? And uh, what are these rated to? 72 volts? How much should we run these at? So the motors can take whatever, right? Is okay. it Didn't they take 72 at 800 amps? If you wanted to do things that involve speed, then having a higher voltage battery pack is going to help you get these motors to go faster. Okay. Cool. Well, it's a half scale model, so we want a 0 to 30 number, you know? This test stand is basically what the front end of our Cybertruck will look like. Excited? Oh yeah. This is gonna be so powerful and so fast. Whew. Having those motors and drives, that gave us the green light to start designing. And this time, we're going for a three motor design instead of one. To start, we collected as much information about the real Cybertruck as we could. Luckily, Elon Musk left a few tidbits in his presentation, including this slide showing the overall dimensions of the truck. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length, and we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Using just this image, we're able to reverse engineer the general shape of the truck. Once we had the rough shape of the truck done in SolidWorks, all we had to do was convert it to sheet metal which is easier said than done. Luckily, with only a few rage quits, Bogdan managed to get it all folded into sheet metal parts. All right, so we've got a configuration for each individual sheet metal assembly that we're gonna to use to create the cyber truck. So we have the truck bed as a single piece, three folds, sorry, five folds. Look at that, beautiful. When we're done, we'll export everything as drawings and see how much space we're looking at. Based on the designs, it looks like we're going to need over 300 square feet of 1 8 304L stainless steel sheet. So we're going to get that on order from Metal Supermarkets, and in the meantime, let's start building the drivetrain. So James, where are we? So we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so this guy apparently sells uh, golf cart parts and things, so we need a rear axle and differential. And apparently Stan, our neighbor, says this guy can hook us up. Look, there's a, there's a golf cart right there. Alright, so we're in luck. We got the rear end off of a club car go kart, and it fits in the back of my stinger, just barely. Also, one concerning thing: there's a small wasp nest underneath this. Oh. Rear end of a club cadet golf cart. Whoops! Oh god! Merry Christmas. And that's how you deal with wasps. Alright, so here we are picking up the golf carts. We got one loaded in here, and the other one is in our trailer. Now I don't really know if that's actually gonna work sticking out like that, but we're absolutely going to try it. And it came with so much free dirt. You wouldn't believe how much free dirt we got. So we just picked up a couple of scrap uh, easy goes, and the nice thing with these is they've got some more steering racks, so we should be able to pull those out. That one should have a nice uh, front axle, this one will have extra spare components, leaf springs, bolts, nuts, uh, and hopefully we can make one working front axle. We've got the rear axle now, model that up, 
custom stainless steel and we'll have a working cyber truck. And now, a word from our sponsor. Are you still using an old floppy leather wallet that's probably giving you back pain from sitting on it all day? The Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that's a way better way to carry your cash and cards. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and a lifetime warranty, you can't go wrong. Use my coupon code HACKSMITH to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping. Hey guys, what time is it? It's almost midnight. All right, so we've just about finalized the main sheet metal design. But now we have to finalize part of the drivetrain and the suspension system, which means we need to 3D model all these parts so we can actually put them into SolidWorks in order to actually figure out how this all can go together. No problem. Okay, but it also goes like this. That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <It's not trying. laughs> you couldn't even wear a helmet in it. That's the cheapest. So much welding steel that you need. Should, be should be the cheapest. It's the cheapest part of the project. project. And I've never been welding steel. It's got to be like steel. free motors, free speed controls. We already have the batteries. Those are the three major things that cost money. Everything is greasy, everything is rusted, and there's crap all over it. It's good! Is this what you've been waiting for all day? No, all my steel. This is turning into like a really big project day. Eh? Fine, I've only spent like 200 hours this week on it. I think our stainless steel is here, let's go pick it up. bed, clean them up, and then we can start uh, bending and welding them. All right, so we got all the stainless steel cut, um, about 200 square feet right now, and we're ready to start folding, so we're gonna see how that works. Uh, look at that, it works. Woohoo, that's the first bend. How does it feel, Bogdan? Oh man, that's gonna be exhausting. We got like a dozen more to go. Alright, so those were the easy bends. Those were the only 90 degree bends. Everything else is a random number for SolidWorks. Pretty damn close. Elon, the actual design better not be random angles that you chose. Oh, look at that! Oh. This is the front steering wheel like this, so we need to bend this that way for the right side. We're like eyeballing these on point. 103 degrees, Chris. 103 degrees. Pretty good. That is our front bumper. So the, the, the fancy LEDs go right here. Is it fit? Is it fit? Oh. Oh. Elon. Elon. It's so pretty. So like this thing's gonna be like that big. You're gonna be sitting like this. 
<laughs> Dope. coming together. So basically the next goal is that we're gonna put that thing on flat across here, just like the bottom one. Finish an hour, this will be the earliest I've gone home since Friday. <laughs> That's one wheel well. There you go. I think we're adding a sunroof, right? <laughs> like you can completely lie down inside. You'll, you'll oh, it's a two-seater. So we got the final pieces of the cyber truck cut. We're gonna make the base plate and the roof of it, and then we'll be ready to mount the motors. When we welded it, the, the frame is slightly twisted, and we think it's just this one side piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the welds, let it sit flush again, and then hopefully re-weld it without the twist. The problem is if we leave this and we start welding more stuff, we're going to keep adding up the stresses, and the whole thing might twist even more, which we definitely don't want. We're, we're off by like an inch right there, David. Level. Did, did I think I think the way? unlevel was literally the uh, event. It's still a bit crooked, but it's done. This is actually the most people that we've ever had working on one project while I've been here. Dave, you comfy? Yeah. All right, so this marks one week since we started this crazy project. I think we've made some incredible progress in a single week. It's been yep. a lot of long nights. Like, <laughs> we haven't like left past midnight the past like week. Yep. But we've got all the stainless steel plasma cut. As you can see, it's all tack folded together. So we just need to seam weld all this, which is a ton of labor. That's probably, it's probably a solid week plus of welding. Yep. But we've got more people, so hopefully we can get it moving quick. But next up, and then uh, we've got to do the suspension, we've got to do the entire drivetrain, the batteries, the power system, and accessories, and an ATV. I can't forget the ATV. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. You're not going to want to miss any videos from this series. It's the half scale Cybertruck. Let's build it. Whoa! It's do it again. Just do it again. Just done it. It was at this moment that he knew he. Oh, oh my God. <laughs>